What is going on everybody? It is Craig and I'm back with another review for the tens and tens of you watching these things. But again, as I said, I'm doing these for me too. It helps me towards the end of the year a little bit and it's fun. So 2024 Byte. B-Y-T-E. You know what? My last one that went up, Low Life's, it's I had an awakening again. Good movie. Yay. Finally, let's break this trend that we've been on of, you know, even the ones that are okay, we've just been, just been okay. Well, Ice was phenomenal, in my opinion. Um, definitely flawed, but phenomenal. I will tell you, though, <laughs> I am going to draw a parallel between this one and the my favorite quote that I heard in Low Life that I avoided sharing in my other video because I didn't want to spoil anything. But... We'll get to it. So, I don't ever... I never read these captions to you when we do these videos, but there's something about, like, the blurb that's up for bite that I think is intriguing. And that's, it says, in a concept generated for today's Gen Z audience. Oh, that's why I didn't like it. I get it. They're like, oh, you're old. You're fucking... What, what, what am I? I'm not, no, I'm um, Gen X. You know, it's 1978. Oh, you're one of those Gen Xs. Yeah, you're right. We're the ones you leave alone. You know, I love watching those Instagram big clips and people talk about, why don't anyone bought with Gen X? Because we were Simone. Because we were the ones that was, what was it? Uh, fuck around and find out, right? But follows a group of college age friends who become concerned, concerned, when one of them discovers a mysterious phone app that turns users into werewolves. They, in fact, do not become concerned. When the one mentions the app, all the friends go with him to the ceremony, to, to a graveyard, and watch him drink their blood to perform a ceremony. So I don't know how concerned they were. Maybe later on when they realized, oh shit, this is real, a couple of them became a little worried. And that's the thing. I, I wanted to like this movie because I like werewolf movies. Um, it's actually it's another werewolf movie that's on my list that I gotta see. Uh, but... And the idea, you know, the idea isn't new. I heard people saying, oh my god, what are, are you spreading the werewolf virus with an app? Well, kind of. You know, through the app that you're essentially delivering them blood. So, and the phone somehow recognizes blood. It's not witchcraft, so that didn't make sense. But yeah, so you drink werewolf blood in theory, mixed with human blood. That's how you can become a freaking, uh, you know, in part of the lore anyway. Um, but this movie... Again, they use the idea that... I've seen this idea before. Um, what was it? In the one John Cusack, Samuel L. Jackson movie. I, I don't even know if it was based on Stephen King's story. I'm not sure. I don't think it was. I don't, I don't remember enough. Because where the phone would cause people to go mad and kill them. Like, And I also saw there was like the bedeviled app. Where the app would lead you to be killed. Whatever by the thing. That's all fine. So now they're like, let's spread werewolfism. And it's funny. They called someone a werewolf and then a lycanthrope. And I'm like... It's like they actually used the phrase, well, if they're lycanthropes, then you're really in trouble. But a werewolf, you're not. Like, help me out with my knowledge. I thought those terms were interchangeable. Um, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe it's so niche where they're not. So, yes, after the friend, after they performed the ceremony with the friend, all of a sudden, people started getting killed. But there's also other werewolves going around, too. And some of them could be werewolves, even though the full moon, or even were not werewolf-fied during the full moon. Like, the one friend was not, which didn't make sense, because he should have been a werewolf, and he said, just stand there, human talking. and um, I don't know. I wanted to like it. I didn't like it. As far as, it's, it's, you know, the the werewolf look fine. They didn't even, and I give them credit for this, like, they know their boundaries with budget. They, aside from, like, showing someone mid-transformation with, like, teeth in the mouth and, like, colored eye contacts, they didn't do anything to, they didn't try to show a transformation. And in my mind, I'm sitting here thinking, wow, American Werewolf in London was how long ago? And they nailed the transformation. You don't think a, a movie today in 2024? Maybe that does tie into more Gen Z audience. And shortcuts, I say that as a professor. Uh, but the line I really liked in, in Will Life's um, was the one father, the father was screaming at his daughter, um, who, hold on, spoil for Will Life. So if you haven't seen Will Life's movie right now, but they, uh, they're, they're essentially murderers and cannibals. And the daughter doesn't always want in on it, although she does like to kill. But at one point, like, the father's yelling at her because he found out she was a lesbian. And, like, she goes, I'd rather eat pussy than people. 
I, I left. I literally did. I left like two minutes. Um, I, I just, I just, that is the best line out of nowhere, unexpected in a movie I've seen in a bit. But what does that tell you about when I'm talking happily about a different movie while reviewing this one? I am not going to totally sink this. I mean, it's definitely better than the sci-fi shot movies, a swamp movie I did the other day too, but not, not significantly, not significantly. So we're going to give it a four or five. I guess if you like werewolves, it's different. It's something unique. Um, from the werewolf genre, but the app thing has been around now for a long time, you know, and you know, so I don't know how new that is. I thought I'd give this at least a five because of the app thing, but it's considering the phone sense blood and that's more mystical and that doesn't make sense, I couldn't do it. So, four or five out of ten, see it at your own risk. Uh, as far as what I'm going to do next, I really don't know. I don't really have a movie I'm waiting on. Well, I do. I, I want to see Founders Day, but it's not available anywhere. I've been waiting to see that for a while, so. As soon as I get that on streaming somewhere, I'll watch it. But anyway, folks, throw a suggestion down in the comment. I know someone did suggest Rest Checkout. I do want to see that, but I, I am waiting because I was a, a, a backer uh, for the signed mask. And I know things don't ship out on time, but I think from the original timeline, we're probably a year plus I removed. So it's almost like until I get it, I'm not going to watch it. But I do have the movie, though, because I bought it from Scream Team Team Reason. I even have a poster signed by a lot of the cast. Uh, that Scream Team throws in for free a lot of times, or adding a couple of dollars. But that said, this went too long. Till we meet again, peace.